The opening race then of the Pro Tire Motorsport Geneta GT Championship saw a lights to flag victory in the end from Luke Garlick, who started from pole, got the better of his fellow front row starter, Ben Mc uh, McKenzie Douglas, sorry, into turn one and never looked back. It was a bit of a messy start for Ben McKenna. He ran wide at Cobb's corner, but managed to get himself back into fourth place after a terrific early tussle with Matt Shaw, who was desperate to try and stay ahead of McKenna and go after his AM-class rival, Nick White. In the end, McKenna got the better of him, though, and Matt Shaw then set about trying to defend from the number 44 machine of Harry Mangin, which he did rather robustly. Front of the field, Mackenzie Douglas tried everything he could to keep up with the leader, but to no avail, whilst Connor Garlick was trying everything he could do to find a way past Ben McKenna after a disappointing qualifying effort. Connor got him to four, uh, fifth place pretty quickly, but just could not get through the very robust defence set by Ben McKenna. Nick White was running well, third place overall, got the victory in the AM category in the end, whilst a track limits penalty would knock McKenna off the pro podium. A podium that was headed, though, by Luke Garlick, victorious here at Silverstone in race number one. Yeah, definitely a good one for my birthday. Had a little issue in qualifying, which meant I qualified a bit lower, but managed to get through the packs slightly so yeah managed to secure third place so is it a special birthday today yeah 21st it's <laughs> <laughs> a big smile on your face you obviously enjoyed that race as well yeah definitely was enjoyable it's always nice when it's exciting like that it seemed to be a uh, real nip and tuck with you and, and scott that was obviously a more enjoyable way to entertain yourself during that race yeah definitely was enjoyable to say the least i think we struggled from grip from start to finish but yeah towards the end Got a hold of the car, started to find, find the grip a bit more and didn't have enough time to catch him, but yeah, positive. Tomorrow is another day, but we could be seeing a different uh, weather conditions. What, is that going to be a problem? I don't think so. I think we showed strong pace in the way at Alton Park, so I think I'm pretty confident going in. I, I mean, we've had a wet race last year in Geneta Junior, so I know the lines, I, th I know we're fast in the wet, so yeah, confident. I know it's still early days, but from a championship point of view, obviously, Scott finished further down the, in this race today. Is that going to help the situation? Does that put you at ease a little bit? Yeah, I mean, we're leading the championship after Alton anyway, so just solid consecutive finishes is what's going to benefit us in the long run. So, yeah, going well. At the end, start, started to go off a little bit and the gap closed down, but luckily enough, I built enough of a gap in the race just to slightly edge him at the end. But, yeah, um, Amazing race, just managed to get my head down and pull away and yeah, can't really say that it wasn't a good race. Uh, all still to do another race this weekend? Yeah, um, we're starting pole for the next race, so hopefully we can meet with the result, but with weather conditions still pending, you know, it's going to be a difficult one, especially if it's wet. And it's, but if we carry on the pace that we had today, who knows? Yeah, I gave it a good shot at the, at the beginning to keep up with them. Um, yeah, really pleased. The pace was really good. You know, qualifying was uh, just what we needed to do. And um, yeah, to bring it home, third overall and P1 in class, is going to ask much more. So the second race of the weekend, Pro Tire Motorsport United GT Championship saw Luke Garlick start from pole position, but it was a feisty Nick White trying to make the moves for second place in the early stages couldn't quite find a way past Mackenzie Douglas and Ben McKenna. McKenna was sensationally exciting to watch in the early stages, but his wet tyres overheated very quickly. He was sideways more than he was going forward, but still put up a very stout defence to, for quite a while, keep Mackenzie Douglas and Nick White at bay. Douglas eventually found a way past him at Brooklands. It wasn't then long before Nick White managed to do the same thing. But whilst all of this was going on, there was one driver further down the order who was in a completely different race to the rest of them. Whilst these front runners were slipping and sliding around on very worn out tyres and at times making contact with each other, Connor Garlic was charging through the order. He was the only driver to select slick tyres and after a couple of laps of getting some heat into them, he was comfortably the fastest man on the track. He carved his way through into second place, got past Mackenzie Douglas and then set about catching his brother, race leader Luke Garlic. He eventually made the move coming out of the loop. There was nothing really that Luke could do. Connor Garlick went on to win the race by 20 seconds, despite only taking the lead with a couple of laps to go. 
was an inspired tyre choice, but Connor still had to get the job done on those slicks. It was still damp and greasy in certain areas, but he managed to find the grip and went on to claim a dominant second victory of the season to tighten up the front runners in the championship as we head to Donington Park. Positive weekend on the whole, um, obviously. Didn't quite make the right tyre choice there, but you know, it's a bit of a lucky game for that one. So yeah, it was good. It was always going to be a gamble. Obviously, the circuits come to uh, <laughs> to the board, to to look to kind of there. Do you think you could have taken it from the way you were if you were on slicks? Yeah, I mean, Connor Connor started at the back, so for him to come through and then pull a gap, I mean, yeah, we could have done really well. But you know, the team's done a good job all weekend, so coming away really happy. Yeah. Move on to Donington next. Uh, uh, what's your feelings about there? Uh, well, I think it's a strong track for, for us. Um, we had a good debut there at the end of last season, so yeah, looks good for that. So excited to see what else we can achieve. I did feel a little bad for me. No, it was all corner, unfortunately. You can't put a foot in the drive, and just I couldn't really do much. I was on the wrong tyres, but well driven by Connor, and that's all I can say, really. So, a great way to round off your birthday weekend. So, for the victory, uh, it, it looked like you had to wait for the tyres to come in, though. Yeah, it was a bit damp at the start. Uh, most, I mean, managed to find a few dry patches, managed to give it heat to them, and then I mean, they gripped and then went. Couldn't have asked for more than that from the weekend. I'll be honest, that race was tough to, uh, to, to bring the car home. They were moving around so much on the, on the wet tyres. Um, obviously, we saw one of the garlics come through on slicks like he's on fire. So, I guess if you're at the back of the grid coming through, you can take that gamble. But it, it was just too much of a gamble to, to choose slicks for me being so far up the grid. Do you feel that if you would have gone for the, the slicks, that would have made a massive difference? Uh, initially, I think you've gone backwards very quickly, but uh, looking at the pace that he came past me, yeah, I just think it made a huge difference. Uh, onwards now to Donington Park. Moving forward, are you looking forward to that? Yeah, absolutely. Donington, Donington's one of my favourites. Um, you know, we go there twice this year, so we, uh, we get plenty of run time, so it's uh, yeah, one I look forward to.